with the legend Seth Fowler. We're at the crib. I'm gonna let you just kind of take me around the room. Cool. I think we should start over here because this is All like right. your studio setup backdrop. Right yeah, now, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with the 85s, and we'll get into Ooh. the collection and hear about everything and how you got started. So I'm excited to hear your journey of sneaker collecting. Awesome, man. Yeah. So the 85s are a recent pickup. I actually just grabbed these from a friend who found these uh, in some dude's garage mm -hmm. on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, he like had them legit checked. He cleaned them up and he sold them to me for a good price. And then I think I bought them for 1100 and then he gave the 1100 back to the dude because the dude had no idea what he had. Right. right and it was right. it was so cool of him. And I was like, wow, that's that's so cool. Um, he drove all the way out from uh, I think it was Tennessee and uh, just gave them to me for a good price. And this is a pair I always wanted the bread ones, my favorite two of all so, time. So also, oh. tell the people this is a size 13 and we've talked about this before. It is, so, yeah, it is, I, it is. He said the only thing. It is. He said the only thing uh, is I got to find him a pair <laughs> and then I could potentially get those for him. So now I'm on the hunt for a different size and I'm trying to make a finesse and trade and do stuff. So maybe one day we'll be able maybe to look back day. at this footage maybe and then see the time when it. <laughs> okay, so uh, what else you got over here? Over here we got the sign Off Whites by Virgil. Now this is back, I got these in 2017 when he did the um, the Office Hours event. So I got lucky, Nike, uh, I won a raffle on Nike. Like I had to write an essay about like right. why I love design and my essay got picked. Um, and it was like right when I was starting YouTube. So I got a chance to meet Virgil and I he signed them. Like so, it gets more complicated than that. So mm -hmm. basically what happened was, uh, I go the first day of the event. Okay. Virgil has to leave for something. And okay. I didn't get my interview. And I was like, oh no, but I still got to buy shoes. Okay. And it was a random raffle for the shoes. So you interviewed him on camera? And, uh, they didn't let me film it. Oh, I, okay. I got it on, on audio though. They oh, let okay, me get this little tough. like that's audio tough. drive, yeah. But, um, I interview or I didn't get a chance to interview him the first day. Okay. I went to the place where you could buy the shoes. It was a random raffle. I got lucky, got the ones. Okay. And then Oh, out of all the ten. Out of all the ten, yeah. Dope. So okay. I got I got lucky twice. Okay. <laughs> I got all lucky right. twice. And then they told me I could come back the next day to interview Virgil. I was like, dope. So I brought the shoes back because okay. no one else could. Usually what happens is you interviewed him and then you got the shoes. Yeah, yeah. So I brought yeah. the shoes back and he signed him. He signed him Air Fowler, which is so he didn't put Virgil was here on there, yeah, but he yeah. put Air Fowler, which is great. I have a picture with him holding them. Like that's dope. It's crazy. Dude, it was it was a wild experience. And I you know what, honestly, he's a big reason why my channel took off. Cause I, I had these shoes like a month before anybody else. Fire. Dropped a review. And now, yeah, the hype was crazy. Exactly. This was literally like the beginning of a new era. Yep. Like collaborations. Dude, it was wild. And I got to drop dope. the interview that we did together. Like it was crazy. Crazy. So like that's that was dope. a whole, dude. I, I credit Virgil for that so much. So like, that's what's up. Yeah, man. That was that was wild. So speaking of that, okay. So how long were you creating videos before this right here? Six months. Okay. So you Six were like months. literally real right early. at the beginning. Yeah, real early. That's fire. Yeah. These ones also are kind of crazy too because these are the Tokyo Fives, which yes, is shoe that sir. I always wanted. I won these for free at Complex Con. Dope. Dude, literally what a year? raffle again. Uh, 2018, 2019? 2018. Yeah, I okay. think so. Yeah, because I went with Hess Kicks and he had the, the Tokyo Fives except with the yellow toes, the samples. And I was like, what? You were there with Hess. Yeah. In 2018. Yep. And we didn't meet. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what? But well, they, they made me wear them out of the building too. Yes. I what booth it. was doing this? It was um, it was that that sneaker company that was owned by Amazon that like I think folded. Really? I forget what it was called. It's it was like, um, them shoes didn't fold. Yeah. I got them. <laughs> <laughs> it made me pay taxes on them though. I had to sign a uh, what is it called? Like I had to do a tax form and then they made me pay pay taxes on the actual value of the shoes. Oh really? So like I think these were valued at like two grand, so I had to pay taxes on two grand. But okay. I, hey, I got them for basically. That's free, cool, so, bro. Yeah. I ain't mad at that at all. It was wild. So what made you decide these three shoes for your backdrop in your videos because these are my favorite this yeah. is my favorite shoe of all time the virgils is like a crazy story you okay. know i'm never gonna have any experience like I, i'm assuming i'm never gonna have an experience like that again tokyo fives there's like a pop of color i'll be honest with you mm -hmm. um and then the rest of the stuff i'm a huge ravens fan i was about to say so i got the jonathan ogden sign ball ah, go steelers go steelers nah. <laughs> oh i got the uh i got the joel and bead ball i'm a sixers fan and then i got the uh the magic johnson ball because that was given to me for free. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> but and yeah. then you got your skate deck up here. Exactly. Tell about your brand real brand. quick. Yeah. Yeah. So me and co and my friend uh, Osman, we met in college for design, and uh, I was doing a lot. Of, like I was into sneakers. Mm -hmm. He was into sneakers. We wanted to create a product, and we're like, socks are perfect to go great with your sneakers. Like mm -hmm. we make a better sock than what's already out there. We yeah. both love sneakers. We want to make socks for sneakerheads. That's what we did. So that's dope. Puff is a brand. Um, I just have as many like little subtle pocket things around the office as I can right. have, uh, just in case anyone's like, yo, what's that in the video? Did you 3D print this? I did, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, that's the that's the backdrop. And it'll change here and there depending on the video. Like if I'm doing an Adidas review, I'll, I'll switch it out and put like Adidas sneakers there or whatever, or New Balance or whatever the case may be. So, dope, dope. Yeah. What about over here? We got a couple of shoes. Over man. here, yeah, we got a couple of just random boxes that I forgot to clean up. I feel that. <laughs> we got this, uh, this size 12. Uh, off whites right here, which I'm doing a challenge where I get 20 bucks. Okay. And I buy my way up to like a, a sneaker oh, collection. Oh, oh. So this is the newest 
version of that series where I'm buying the entire Off White Ten collection. Oh, okay. I bit off way more I could chew than it because it's like a the whole set. Dude, the whole set, yeah. From twenty bucks. It could be used. This one I got for um, I think it was like two ninety nine. That's cool. So not bad, not That's bad. Cool. It's worn in size twelve. Have you so. tried these on before? No, I haven't. Okay, so I had the pink pair. Yeah. And they just run so small, like really? you need like a whole size up. Like so, I can fit them. I'm size nine. It's, yeah, <laughs> low key, they might fit you perfect, bro. Like it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Okay, uh, what we got over here? It's you got over the Gatorade here? pack. You got the oh, yeah. Nintendo stuff. So this was like my first big package from Jordan Brand. Dope. Um, they they have since stopped sending me stuff, but they mm -hmm. did used to send me stuff, bro. That's because <laughs> also they have new people in different posi in the that's positions. Fair. So that's fair. Every couple years, like you got to be in contact with all these new people. It's a whole process, bro. <laughs> You know what? Hey, I'm blessed anyway. I'm not even, you know what? I get it. At the end of the day, they weren't going to send me the stuff I wanted to review anyway. So yeah, <laughs> I'll no, just take what real. they sent me. Um, this hat is fire. Yeah, dude, the hat's the crazy. Corduroy. Yeah, oh, I, I never wore it. There was like a shirt in here too. Uh, and then we got, dope. yeah, right? Yeah. Dude, you can have it if you want. I'm not no, no, no. Anyway. You're Seriously, good, bro. I'm, you're good. You're it's good. literally just collecting dust in there. <laughs> this is fire, though. <laughs> but we got, um, we got the 32s, the Gatorade 32s. Uh, and then we got the 6s. But I, I actually wore the 6s a couple times. So they're low. Okay, deep. okay. Um, and that too, the outsole got a really couple of times. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, but that's. I the remember set. when everybody. This is like when I was getting started with YouTube. Yeah, and I was like seeing like everybody getting this pack. And I'm like, yep. bro, what is going on? I need this pack. This is so crazy. <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah, Cousteau got it, and his video got like four million views. Damn, I got thirty-two thousand views. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is the uh, this is the gaming setup. This is purely because my wife won't let me have this anywhere else. Okay. So we got the retro gaming setup. You know, I'm a '90s kid. I had to get the N64. I had to get the Super Nintendo. Yes, sir. Um, I don't mess around with my gaming. I don't play much, but I like collecting it. Like bro, sneakers. you got to get back on the Wii, bro. Dude, I, I know, was right? Just telling somebody, bro. I'm like, I'm, I regret getting rid of mine. I got the Wii. Got the Wii U. I've never played the Wii U, but I got the Wii. Okay. okay. <laughs> got two Game Cubes. A lot of this was like. I was watching a lot of YouTube channels uh, that do like retro gaming and they do a lot of um, yard sailing. Okay. And I was already yard sailing for the $20 sneaker collection. Yeah. And I started finding stuff and I was like, yo, I'm just I'm putting it together. This. Exactly. Yeah, I feel exactly. that. I feel that. So like a lot of this is like, this was free. A lot of this is stuff that I found at yard sales. Actually, this one I, I did spend money on, but like a lot of other the stuff. Green like, one. Ooh, had to. Yeah, that's yeah, fire. Had to, had to. That's fire. But, All right, let's get into some yeah, of the kicks yeah. over here on this side. Yeah, yeah. You want to start here? here sure. Whatever you want to do. Cool. Yeah, these are all, a lot of these are sneakers that I got in for videos from like brands like Champion just sent me this. This one's crazy because I found this at a thrift store. This is actually a PE uh, from the Jordan brand classic. In oh, okay. Dude, I think it's a size. I was about to say, that look like a 16, 18. Like I think you're thing. right. I think it's 17. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Big, it has been boy. worn. Dude, I, I so I, I forget. This is so bad. I forgot the player who wore this. Okay. But they won the championship with North Carolina. Okay. But then they didn't go to the NBA. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I found him on Instagram because I, I was like, who's the only size 17? Because there was a, an East and a West color shoe. Mm -hmm. so I think the East was um or the West was red. The East was black. Yeah. Um, and I was just trying to find the only size 17 players on the on the East, and there was two. So I messaged both of them, uh, both of them, and the one guy got back to me. He was like, "Yeah, it's probably mine because I don't have them anymore." I was like, "Dope!" And <laughs> I got for 10 up. bucks too. It's crazy. What? It's crazy. <laughs> That's um, what's up. Yeah, dude. Uh, okay. What else? Well, we uh, you got some rockers down here. This yeah, I got some rockers down here, right dude. Now? Yeah, we got the Raven shoes. We got the Ravens dunks. Oh yeah. Right there. Got them on clearance for 88 bucks. Okay. At the Nike outlet. Okay. Not my size though, but I wear them anyway. <laughs> uh, we got the threes. Got to rock the three. Classic, bro. Easy to rock. What's your favorite classics to rock right now? <sighs> favorite classics to rock? Honestly, I've been rocking the Supreme Foam Posits a lot, actually. Ooh, okay. For whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, Dornbecker 5s a little bit. I, I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't even mean to leave these open, but that's what's been happening. SB4s. And then the, um, where are they at? The, uh, shoot. Well, the White Cement 3s. They're in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. go wrong with those. <laughs> the reimagined. Oh, they're on the other side. But yeah, the reimagined 3s. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get started with this side. Yeah, and man. we'll just kind of work our way over. Let's do it. You can kind of hit me with some stories and stuff. So you want to go with the Air Maxes first? Yeah, let's do it. Them, yeah, these are the pot of Air Maxes right here. Now, one thing I've had a lot of people say about my channel is that like I have a lot of new sneakers. And the reason for that is because I rotate my collection a lot. Yeah. Like I don't really hold on to stuff because at the end of the day, like I'm trying to wear everything that I have. Mm -hmm. And if it's a pair of sneakers, it's too old or I don't care about it anymore. I usually get rid of it. Right. So it unless it's sense. like a crazy grail, I don't have like a lot of like older stuff. So I think the oldest s stuff that I have on this side that I wear is probably it's not the Supremes. It's something maybe. No, these are from what? 2011, the Supreme. Um, I about to say the Dornbreaker and the Supreme kind of came around the same like time. 2011, right? Something yeah. like that. I have the uh, the, the Supreme Flyknit ones, Ooh, the Lunar okay. ones. These are crazy. Okay. These are crazy. Uh, <laughs> I've worn these a good amount. 
These are dope. That's man, you always need a comfy shoe. You got a little to. comfy fly shoe in the collection. I agree. And no one knows what these are too. So you can right. wear this around anywhere. Right. You feel you can feel fly to yourself. Yeah, Somebody exactly. knows, they'd be like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I yeah. feel that. Okay, so got the potas. Tell clean. me, tell me about the Grinches. Is this the first retro or the first drop? Or no, this is, is the retro. retro. This is retro. Okay. So I was one of the Grinches. Okay. I was one of the Grinches. I actually I didn't wait in line when they dropped, but I was trying to inform them online okay. when they dropped. I obviously didn't get them. Um so to get them again, I think I, I paid resale for these, like resale for these, sorry. Um I think it was like four hundred or five hundred at the time. Yeah. Um, I was but, telling people I'm like, they're gonna go up. Yeah. They're gonna go up. Dude, and it's then crazy. You gotta get them now. And then next thing you know. Thousand dollar shoe, just like that. I know. I should have gone up to a size nine and a half though. They're a little tight. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't ball on them, obviously. Like, actually, yeah, I, I had, had, had to get my reverse Grinch in a 14 because I was like, these things is tight, yeah. bro. I tried a 13 and I was like, it's not working at all. <laughs> um, okay, what else you got over here? We got the 30s. This is the first shoe I ever reviewed on the channel. This was started. First, this is what started. Okay. Not this exact pair, but I bought this one. I hit a million subscribers because I was like, yo, I got to have this shoe that started okay. it all. Shoe kind of sucked, but like. No. <laughs> it's a Wait, decent so ball shoe. You, shot, you reviewed this I reviewed originally. It and returned it to Foot Locker the and next day. returned it yep. just to make the review. Just to make the review, and yeah. Then, I and then I rebought it. Bought it back. Yep. That's yep. dope. Not the same exact one, but right, dude, these right. are like $300 now. There's like yeah. no pairs of them anymore. It's crazy. Bro, I be telling the same thing. I tell people the high number Jordans, yeah. I noticed that too. Like nobody wrestled with them. And exactly. then like, everybody that wants them, they get them. And then like yeah. a couple years later, they're all like expensive. I mean like 300 is not like crazy expensive, right. but at the same time, like that's a lot for those shoes. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone wears them. Yeah. Like, they don't think about it. Yeah. yeah. People just be like hooping them actually. It's ridiculous. We got the, uh, we got the Sean's. Okay. Decent pair. How'd this go for you when it comes to the release or the raffles and all the situation? Did you actually vote for this shoe? No, I didn't. During this <laughs> No, vote? I didn't. I, did. I voted for the Atmos. Yeah. Wait, no, the Atmos, no, it was, no, the, it was that uh, was the year after. The Atmos was 2017, yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I did vote for the Atmos. So I didn't get them for retail. These ones, um, I either didn't vote or I voted for one of the other options. I don't remember what it was. I swear there was a shoe that was cooler, like a Vapor Max bottom. There or probably like that. was, yeah. Because okay. that was right when the Vapor Maxes were just coming yeah. out, too, dude. Yeah, that was yeah, crazy. Yeah. But I was, dude, so I was living in New York when this dropped, and I was running around like every sneaker store to try and grab these. I was going everywhere, but like, there's this thing in New York called the Loop. It's like a, a group of resellers, okay. and you don't have a shot if you're not like friends with them. A part of the Loop, exactly. Or okay. you win a raffle. And I didn't. I didn't win anything. You're so still not friends with the Loop. No, no, they're cool. They're, I don't have a problem hey, with them. Shout out the Loop, man. We love y'all, man. Show us some love, man. <laughs> but dude, like, yeah, they don't. They don't really. They don't really mess with me. So I never got a chance of getting shoes for retail that I didn't win a raffle for. So I feel that these guys. So I didn't pay resale for. also, like you were talking about earlier, I was just thinking about that. Let them know too. Like you create YouTube videos, yeah, which yeah. means like, like you said, rotating and all the exactly, different things. Exactly. You're touching a lot of shoes. You're yeah. reviewing a lot of shoes. You're yeah. like, I can't keep all this stuff. We have to go through this thing where it's like people assume that we have to keep every single thing that we review. Yeah. It's like, bro, sometimes there's shoes that you don't want to keep, but you know it's a good review, and it's like I'm interested in it, but exactly. I don't want to really keep it. Like, exactly. I just want to talk about it. Like, yep. So, yep. How do you, uh, how do you make that decision of like, I'm keeping this one. This one's for the long haul or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it's tough. It's like, it's really just the stuff that I find myself wearing a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's something that I've dealt with, especially in the beginning with YouTube. Like I've been secret for years before I started doing YouTube, mm -hmm. but like dealing with a lot of, a lot of people saying like, oh, you don't have, a, you don't have an old collection. Like you're not right. a real sneaker head, right. which is like, I don't care what people think, but it, you know, it does get to you every so often. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. I had to get past that. Once I got past that, I'm like, I'm literally just going to keep what I wear and what I like. Right. So I, I dude, I could have had like four or 500 pairs of sneakers in the collection, probably more, but it's just, it's insane. Like I live in like a, a normal to average small size house. Like right. I don't have room for that. Like, this right. is a tiny bedroom. Like yeah. this is the space that I got. I have a wife, you know, like I can't just be <laughs> having sneakers everywhere. So, I'll um, that. so I literally just keep what I like. So a lot of this is like, just, I mean, shoot, like the, the Amo Manier threes, I get that they're hype, but I wear these all the time. Yeah. Like these are crazy. That's what I was saying. I was just thinking too. I'm like, yeah, you got some hype stuff, but also you got some normal stuff. in exactly. here. It's, it's a nice mixture. It's not just like, crazy i gotta have all the heat and exactly. i'm only keeping those or whatever it is type exactly thing. so i like that talk yeah. about these playoff eights for me oh, over the playoff here eights. so this is the pair from the uh the 20 dollars sneaker collection so last year i was doing a series where i had 20 bucks bought my way up to the entire jordan clock which is actually over there okay so i was trying to build that clock based off of um all the og air jordan colorways okay from one to twelve okay and so this is the one side of the pair the eights i got these i think on um i think it was it must have been ebay because they got the little tag right was there. it the first year you got no, the first one I got was the, shoot, I think it might have been the 11s, like the bread 11s. Ooh, fire. Yeah, okay. at a thrift store, too. It was crazy. Okay. Um, but this is one of the pairs. Like, I've got, for one of the sides of the pair, I've got a couple other, like, singles here from, you know, because the other side is on the clock. Like, this one's from, uh, was from eBay. I think half of the clock I found, like, in a thrift store. Half okay. of it I had to save up money and then buy, you know, from eBay or go okay. or whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Dope. Yeah. So how does that trade up process go? Like, are you finding other stuff, flipping it, and then using the money to get that, and then exactly. like restarting each time? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you got twenty dollars to start each shoe. Basically. Yeah. Well, usually what it is, I have twenty dollars to start. I I save up like three hundred bucks, buy a shoe, and then whatever I have left over, I and then just with. roll it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I try and make it as like legit as possible. Like. Yeah. Like I, there's a lot of trade up challenges on YouTube that honestly are faster and probably more exciting than mine. But like mine is literally like I'm buying a shoe because it doesn't sell on eBay. Legit. Exactly. Yeah. And so it takes years, dude. Yeah. Like this is my third season. I've been doing this for like four or five years. It's okay. crazy. Okay. It's nuts. That makes sense. Um, dude, like 50 episodes, and yeah. it's it's crazy. Uh, I probably could have gotten a lot more subs if I had made it more interesting. But hey, I'm trying to be real with it. So. <laughs> I feel that, bro. I feel that. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. What else we got? There? We got oh, all okay, stuff. I see the 11s and 12s. Down oh yeah, we got the 11s and 12 from the series. We got the Phillies dunks right here. Oh, okay. Daily okay. shoe, daily shoe, Makes especially sense. in Philly. You got to. I've seen everybody rocking the Philly gear out Ex here. Dude, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, I'm from Baltimore originally, but I when I moved to Philly, like I was always a Sixers fan, but when I mm -hmm. moved to Philly, like I didn't, I didn't care about the Orioles that much. Like once Cal Ripken left, I was like, yeah. I'm over it. I so, feel that. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> so, so I was like, you know what? I, I'll, I'll just bandwagon whatever uh, baseball team is in the city that I live in. So I gotta go. Shouldn't have admitted that, but. Got <laughs> Okay, dogs. so you got the off-white dogs for the off first set. Yep. Yep. What, uh, what made you choose this color, or was it like this was the only option you had at the time? So this was actually given to me. Okay. So dope. there's a sneaker collector in the Philippines called Big Boy Chang. He actually gave me the Supremes that we talked about. He gave me these two Fire. shoes every. I went two times. He gave me a pair of shoes each time, which is crazy. Dope, dope. So he gave me these, and I love them. Y'all wear the same size? No, no. He just. I think he's oh, for me. Dude. Okay. Crazy. Dude, oh yeah. He's like crazy. He's legit with it. He's yeah. He's nuts, dude. His collection is ridiculous. That's what's up. But yeah. That's what's up. Um, okay. Concords. Tell me about the I'm, Concords. Oh, yeah. These ones are actually gifted to me by Jordan Brand. Okay. Like Jordan Brand actually gave me uh, gave these to me when I was still living in New York at a, at a Jordan event. What, what year was this? 2019? 2017, I thought. Yeah, I think 2017. That was a while ago. Because yeah. 2019 was the Breads, 2018 was the Cool Grays? I don't no, remember, bro. Maybe this is 20. No, it's, I don't. I don't remember. Honestly, it was like five years ago, yeah. six years ago. It might have been longer, <laughs> low key. I don't know. The problem. So here's, I love 11s. 11s are like one of my favorite silhouettes. The bread 11s like one of my favorite shoes of all mm -hmm. time. But nowadays they're tough to rock, man. Yeah. They're not as easy to wear anymore. So like, I, I love these shoes, and I've had more, like a bunch of pairs in the past, but I just can't rock them as easily, especially with what I wear now. So. Yeah, I'm like sweats all the time. <laughs> exactly. So for me, I'm like, I just be throwing them on with sweats, and I'm that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So that's like, that's my go-to. It's a dope. When it like, comes to rocking them. One of my favorite shoes of all time, but uh, harder for me to rock. Like I've been rocking things like the Atmos Air yeah. Maxes. Like Talk these are easy. Me. Wait, which one is this? The Jordan Brand one? This is the 2017 one. Okay. No, this is not from the the three pack. This okay. is Yeah, this is just this one I got at um. Where did I get? Oh, I bought this on a uh, shoot. I think I just bought it for resale recently. Okay. My friend Austin, we went to uh, we went to Japan like last year. Okay, we found a pair in a thrift store for five hundred bucks. That's cool. Dude, it's crazy, and that's yeah. actually where I found these guys too. But um, oh yeah, by the way, tell them how much these normally are worth so they can understand. What like eight nine hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but apparently, so I didn't realize there's this whole like thing in Japan where thrift stores legit check their sneakers mm -hmm. and they won't sell you like they're as bad as fakes are in the US like Japan is like totally against yeah they will be like that here local well not yeah. locally but back home or whatever like I'll see that yeah and I'm like bro why they got the fakes over here yeah, like, exactly. they don't, they're like serious about that over they're there. serious dude they're serious and even still like I still legit check these I, I took them to stores to ask but like I found these for 300 mm -hmm. in a thrift store with a box in my size that's in Japan which is crazy that's fine like this is a grail with the box bro? with the box dude that's, that's next level right there it was nuts. Uh, um, what else we got over here? We got these are samples. These Dornbeckers actually. Okay. Yeah, these are samples. Uh, I don't have the box or anything, or even the flashlight anymore. But this is my this is my favorite pair of Dornbeckers ever. Like, yes. The threes are dope too. I yeah. love them. threes are my second favorite. Really? But these are these are up there. Okay. Top five Dornbeckers. Fives, threes, um, the the original ones. Those those top, like top ten ones are crazy. I, I think I just oh like yeah, those don't count. Those, that's, that's, a cheat code. that's a cheat code. Um, shoot. Uh, the twos, the fours. I think the two. I think I like the twos better than the fours. Let's go with fives. Threes, twos, fours, Ooh. and then the original ones. The original ones. Yeah, yeah. That's a solid so. lineup. Okay, you got some sixes in there, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not really. A, I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, but I don't really have any sixes. Like, I don't really like. You hurt my soul right now. Well, they hurt my ankles. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Uh, what else we got over here? Off white five. How did this the, go? These are dude. These are more comfortable than regular. Fives. Bro, I was in Vegas when these came out. Yeah. And I hit on sneakers up, and I was so happy, bro. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. I've never hit a Travis or an Off-White shoe ever on sneakers. Bro, I don't, I don't know what it is. My luck is hot when it comes to Travis and Off-White. 
I don't got like a lot of those anymore. for retail. <laughs> that's crazy. Like it's actually crazy. That's really, that's like, I'm pretty frustrated about <laughs> But you know what I'm also frustrated about? These right here. Yeah, it's true. Because it's true. they have been eluding me. I'm a 13, so you know, the struggle is real. They be taxing. You sell some of those retail off white. Bro, I <laughs> no, these are crazy. I did, I, this is one of those shoes, like I wanted one of the, uh, one of the lobsters. And this just was the pair that like came out at the time where I was like, you know what, I'm finally gonna get a pair of lobsters. Okay. So I grabbed these and the blue laces look crazy. With the so orange. do you be skating? No, no, no. Never no, before? No. I've done, <laughs> I've, I, I was one of those kids that like when I was 13, like I had a skateboard, I could ollie. Yeah. That was it. Everybody that had the it. ollie, that was the only exactly, trick in their book. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I skate all the time, bro. It was crazy. But I, <laughs> I did. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Um, where else, man? We, we got all cover all this stuff over here. Yeah, we got row? we got Prestos. This mm. was I bought this pair right when actually I think I might have done a deal with StockX back in the day for like a sponsorship in in exchange for these. But like okay. I got these like um, probably two or three months after the original Off White ones. Um, like I said, the channel took off. So so is it safe to say that everybody said this was the best Off White shoe? I know. At the time? Do you That's remember crazy. that? I do remember that. I still kind of feel some people think that way. It's comfy. It's really. I'm kind of like. These in the Chicago's is like the great debate. Exactly. But it's funny because I remember when these was coming out, like yeah. everybody wanted these more than, these was going for more than I Chicago's. Know. It was crazy. I should have bought another pair of Chicago's. I'm so mad about it. Cause I can't wear those anymore. Like that sounds like such like a first world problem. I can't wear those. So like, I want to have a pair to rock, but uh, but dude, I've been, I've, I've rocked these like crazy. Probably yeah. like in the, I would say in the hundreds of times and somehow they're still, Look good. It's crazy. It's nuts. Like I, so I do clean them up, but dude, they're cr they're yeah. nuts. They're nuts. So Presto is like one of my favorite like comfy shoes. Oh really? So I had Makes like sense. Presto's back in the day. Right, right. And obviously like when this came out, I was like hyped about it. But dude, yeah, these are I'll, I'll be like making them on Nike ID. Yeah. I got like a bunch of different colors. <laughs> like awesome. I love Presto's, bro. That's, that's my, awesome, man. That's my jam right there. Off white twos. Off white twos. Yep. I I bought these like I th it was literally like the day before Virgil passed. Dang. It was crazy. I just wanted them. And and I was like, no way. And then it dude, the price on these skyrocketed. And I was like, that's wild. Like literally, I think I bought them for like 600 and then the price like jumped to like 1200 and now it's back down. But like, yeah. was, it was crazy. Yeah, that was, um, that was a wild time right It there. really was, man. It really was. I got, I just picked these up recently. I think I just paid resale for these. We got the, uh, the Mentos. These are crazy. Okay. we okay. wearing these a decent amount. So my hard part, you've been wearing them. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was about to say. I had, so I hit these on sneakers up. Really? And the white ones. Dope, the front of dope. 10 and yeah, i had them on right and i'm like bro it just don't feel good on my foot like it's, it's not, not comfortable it's not at all it's not, it's not and best. i ended up getting rid of them and i knew like there was gonna yellow so right, that was my yep. thing yeah oh. no these have yellowed pretty bad too like and that's i didn't even add this like this like asphalt stuff or whatever it is going on in the midsole or the, the outsole but yeah i've been wearing it yeah like it, so yeah. they're they're so comfy to rock like, they're I mean, or decent What's enough to yeah, you know, like, <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm here. I'm like, okay, you got Black Cement Three. Black Cement Three. Oh, bro, what do you think about the um the Black Reimagine? Cement's coming out again? I think they're gonna do something stupid, like make it suede or something like that. Bro, but okay, the original sample was that suede one. I know, and it was fire. Yes. I've seen those before. They're fire, bro. See, like, dude, I love my leather, man. I know. Like, I, know. I love. I love. I'm so used to seeing shoes that i've like seen my entire life and just be used to them like looking at ogs yeah exactly so it's like when it, when they change things up on some shoes like the the bread fours like they're fine but they're not the bread fours you know what right. i mean like they are but they're not right. um so i can't think of them like that so like this is my favorite air jordan three of all time mm -hmm. the, the black cement three is white cement three is a close second but like seeing these in suede it would just be i'd, I'd still buy it yeah i'd buy a couple pairs but like uh, <laughs> i just i'm i'm very excited for them to bring that that 88 cut back yeah get rid of this puffy ankle true true true, true true get the true, boxy true. Toe out of the way like yep. and it's very interesting too everybody's pair yellows on the front on the yeah rubber, like, i've noticed quick. that like it's crazy my, if it's new if it's used whatever it's and wild. then you get ashy on the back yep like everybody's pair does the same thing and uh it's you know i got the crystallization on the oh, ones yeah, which dude. i'm sure you probably yeah. got, i actually like, have a ds something. pair of um this 2016 ones that i bought actually for retail i got three pairs i ended up selling one because i had to pay rent one month uh but i got them for the sneakers app and uh yeah dude look at that it's ridiculous yep, yep. literally it's insane Oh, no, I know. I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but don't worry. We're going to have a bunch more stuff to go over in his collection. And if you're watching this video in the future, part two is already linked in the end card at the end of this video. All right, you guys. See you in the next episode. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. In my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down.
my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the 